day. From Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas, Nevada, this is Madden Football. Vegas, Nevada. The atmosphere here, electric. No matter the venue, the home folks love their silver and black. They are fired up as their Raiders get set to face off with the New Orleans Saints. coming for the Raiders and a quarterback their longtime starter in his seventh season, Derek Carr. Sometimes I wonder if we're just not looking at Derek Carr and evaluating him the correct way because this guy's been incredibly reliable. Only two missed starts in six seasons with the Raiders. His completion percentage top 70% last year. The only one higher, Drew Brees in New Orleans. The problem, though, it hasn't translated into wins. They move the ball up and down the field, but they don't score enough touchdowns. Derek Carr hoping to remedy that in 2020. Carr now on first down. He'll find his tight end. That's Waller. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. A quick burst there and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Now just play number three here on the opening drive and it's an early third and one. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And boy, he is very close to it. There, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. It's opening drive, three straight runs, unable to pick up the first. I know the fans want to see first downs, but guess what? The coaches have reasons for what they're doing. Sometimes they've scripted it, and some of these runs, while they haven't been successful now, they may be successful later on. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. The all-pro Deontay Harris deep for New Orleans. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. The Saints offense now getting set here and leading them out in what could be his final NFL season. The game's all-time leading passer, that's Drew Brees. Now exactly the start to the 2019 season that Drew Brees anticipated when he injured his thumb against the Rams in week two and forced him to miss five weeks. The Saints did go 5-0 during his absence, and when he came back, they didn't miss a beat. Rallied him to another division title and got him into the playoffs, and late in the season, passed Peyton Manning for the most career touchdown passes. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. 
Throwing on first down is Breeze. He's got his all pro receiver, Michael Thomas. And knock him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. And let's face it, that what we just saw there, not a surprise, is it? I mean, this is what he does well. And if you don't tackle him as soon as he catches the ball, <laughs> this is the end result. Big yardage after it. Got the speed, the agility. So good with run after catch. And we're only in the first quarter, so they better get a wrangle and a hold on that quickly. Yeah, you're exactly right. And what's really difficult to try and defend him is if you want to press him so that you get him on the ground quickly after the catch, a lot of times he'll just run past you at the initial point of contact, and he'll go deep. On first and ten, here's Breeze. And this one complete to Smith. Breeze. That catch good for only a couple. Traquan Smith, a gain of two, brings up second and eight at the 42-yard line. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. That's complete to his running back, Camara. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's say, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Second down and four. Shotgun now for Breeze. It's caught, Smith. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. Your confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they look at the sideline thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. Another connection between the two. This one good for 12 and a first down. Well, I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got to like the way this is started. Absolutely. Three catches on any drive is good. Opening drive, that's a tone setter. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. From the gun, it's Breeze. That's caught. It's Thomas. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. The Saints passing game in sync and moving the football. It's a first down. His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate. Got the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage. But now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that to be pinpoint here. As I was going to ask you about that. Field shrinks, has to be sharper, but it's been a good opening drive so far. Now they just want to see if they can cap it off with the bell ringer and put it in the end zone. And on this challenge, the refs have to take a peek and see whether or not the receiver was able to dot the eye with both feet. While making sure that he possesses the football all the way through the catch. Well, he challenged the play. It did not fail. 
that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. And as a coach, you hate that. Don't know if you took the advice of the player. You threw it yourself, but it didn't go your way. At the end of the day, it all comes back to the head coach. He has the final determination on whether to actually challenge the player or not. In this case, it didn't pay off for him. And that's got to be so heartbreaking. You throw that flag, you probably feel really confident, and then all of a sudden, boom, you lose the challenge. Yeah, when you take a look at it, you're throwing that flag because you believe you're going to be right. And when it comes back the other way, you have to regroup. At the it is definitely hard to find space near the goal line. You always want to have a guy in the game running it who can create his own. They'll come up now on second and a yard. Takes it across and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. Drew Brees keeping it himself from a yard out. And the Saints have taken the early lead. I'd have to say we're all a little bit surprised there because at his age with his speed, or should I say lack thereof, the only rushing touchdowns I would expect are on quarterback sneaks. But here, he found all of his guys covered. He said, why not? And by the way, if that doesn't fire up your team to see the veteran like that risking his body for the touchdown, I don't know what will. Will Lutz on for the point after. good as the Saints have a 7 to nothing lead. A 10-play drive that time, and it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. At their own 21-yard line. Well, the Raiders heading back out, and as we mentioned, first year in Las Vegas in the new stadium, of course. So this now year three of John Gruden's second tenure. 11 and 21 so far, Charles. Probably not what anybody had in mind, but what kind of chances do you see of the Raiders competing this year in the AFC West? Maybe a little bit better than some. Maybe I'm giving them a little bit more credence than I'm supposed to, but I thought it was a team that got better last year. Remember, they were in playoff contention into December, which was not expected from that franchise, but their defense is going to have to continue to get better. Remember, 13 straight years, they finished 20 of their worst in scoring defense. That's an NFL record that they don't want to keep adding on to, but I do think the offense is going to be good if Derek Carr continues to emerge as their starting quarterback. Yeah, that offense last year, 11th in the NFL this season. High hopes of bumping into the top 10, if not better. From the 21, it's second and 10. To throw again, Carr. And he's caught by the rookie from Bama. It's Henry Ruggs. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Vegas. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness is a premium for all of that now. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And he'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. I thought when Josh Jacobs was coming out of the University of Alabama, he was an absolute perfect fit for John Gruden's offense with the Raiders. And it turned out, in this case, I was absolutely right. Led the NFL rookies in rushing a year ago, 1,150 yards. In fact, the only rookie to top the 1,000-yard barrier. And this kid is a workhorse who can carry the football in any situation and catch it out of the backfield. Carr now on first down. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Now 
Carr after the incomplete pass brings him up second and ten. Throwing again. Carr. That's complete to his tight end Waller. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. A gain of nine. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. Back to the running game with Jacobs. And he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field, and I don't think he got there. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. Remember, that was less than a yard. That was not a full yard. That defense, they were having none of it. Yeah, the surge the offensive line was seeking actually occurred on the other side of the ball. They reestablished the line of scrimmage and stuffed them. Here's A.J. Cole now as he'll kick it away for the second time. call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. Well, the Saints offense heading out, and so much made of their playoff exits the last three years, but let's look forward to 2020. This team won the NFC South last year at 13-3, and but it's a division that certainly is not getting any easier. What do you make of their chances of putting it all together this time around? I think their chances continue to be excellent, and you have to wonder how they haven't made it to the Super Bowl in one of the past few seasons anyway with this collection of talent and ability to strike from anywhere on offense. Drew Brees is back at quarterback. Michael Thomas is the best receiver in football based on production. They can do whatever they want on that side of the ball, and that defense continues to get better and better. I think this is a team that will contend for a Super Bowl title, and they've got a great shot at it this season. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Bree's going to throw. And Thomas has it. And he gets it up to the 10-yard line here. Call it a gain of five. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. And inches. The Raiders call on a nickel set here for third down. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And he is going to have the first down as he gets this up to his own 11. Just enough to get the first down there with a one-yard pickup. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Staying on the ground on first with Kamara. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want, but on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? And it's hauled in by Jared Cook. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets his football out shy of the 30 to the 29. And the Saints. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know. They want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. Ready. 
Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Behind the chain, second and 13. Now Breeze. He throws and he hits the slant route to Thomas. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe needs some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. the play fake to Kamara. It's Breeze looking long for Thomas. And that's caught at the 25. Breeze. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A it's a gain of 34. Boy, they've first definitely down. come out of the gate Thanks. smoking here in the first quarter. Whatever they've tried to run has worked. And there's another example right there. Game plan is one thing, but how about his accuracy? It's been exceptional. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Back to the ground, it's Kamara. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. From the 17, here's second and four. There's Breeze. Pass incomplete. Breeze pass incomplete on the throwaway. It's third down and four yards to go. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Throwing now is Breeze. And he's got it. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air, because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. They'll run it with Kamara. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop it right around the one. Good first step there defensively, but they're still knocking on the doorstep, so maybe another run here? I think so. And one of my favorite coaches used to say, son, if you could darn near lay down near the end zone and get in, <laughs> give me my best power running play with my best back right now. Kamara trying again. And he is in for the score. Touchdown, New Orleans. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Saints now at six to their lead. There's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives were impressive. The opening drive was, that last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really behind the eight ball. You got to make sure you just hold in there. Survive the early storm, relax a little bit, and try and get back to your game plan. It's way too early for panic. Lutz to try to add the PAT. 
And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. So that drive spans 13 plays, and the capper came from Alvin Kamara on the touchdown run. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. And their own Time again to see Josh Jacobs in this Vegas offense operate. First and 10 at their own 26. He'll give it to Jacobs to start the drive. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. to throw his car. He'll let this go deep for Ruggs. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. As he throws there, incomplete. Intended for Hunter Renfro, incomplete. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three drives. The definitely got to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that'll move the ball downfield. Here's A.J. Cole now, as he's on to punt for Las Vegas. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. 39 yards on the punt, give him just one yard on the return. And possession will switch, hands first and 10. Michael Thomas now heading back onto the field, and he is closing in on the 100-yard mark for the day. And it appears that he loved the fact that they're going to play this game earlier. You know, he's daytime, he's out there running around, feeling good about himself. Whatever his prep was coming in, he was able to get out there quick and fire away. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. First down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. 
So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. From midfield, here's Breeze. That's to his running back, it's Alvin Kamara. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. First down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? A tenth carry for Kamara. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. Second and nine from the 44. Breeze now to throw. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. It's a gain of seven, and they're going to face a third down. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. Fourteen nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Fourteen Raiders nothing. on second down but it didn't help at all and now they're looking at third down here they'll run out of the gun with Kamara and he's got room and inside the 20 before he's brought down that good for 19 at a first down Alvin Kamara hit the NFL with a bang had double digit touchdowns in his first two seasons now production fell off a little bit last year just six times did he find the end zone but his ability to run it and catch it out of the backfield makes him hard to cover. Look for a bounce back season in 2020. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They'll run, this is Kamara. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Four yards remain for second down. To throw is Breeze. This will be caught at about the five. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. That'll put him over 100 yards receiving now here in this first half of action. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Looking at this now, you got a couple more cracks here. This close, sneak it. I don't think you even go into a huddle. Just line up, snap it, and fall in behind those guys into the end zone. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. 
Now they'll run. Murray. And he takes it across it in the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. Well, Lutz will look to add the extra point. with a Latavius Murray touchdown run. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. This taken in about four yards deep. And no return forthcoming for Richard as this will come out to the 25. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. Carr with a play fake to Jacobs. And Waller taking it in over the middle. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First and right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. A throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Henry Ruggs, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Second down. And this one incomplete, threw it down at the feet of his receiver. Here's second and ten. To throw again. Carr. Chauncey Gardner Johnson with a pick. And he'll score. Touchdown, New Orleans. That pick six extending this lead even further. And boy, it's been a while since I've seen a team struggle this badly in the first half. I think all they want to do is get to the locker room, try and regroup, and come out to start the third quarter. But if things don't improve fast then, I think the backups get a lot of play in the second half. Blunts to try to add the PAT. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28 0 now. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And this carries into the end zone. 
And no return forthcoming for Richard as this will come out to the 25. Derek Carr getting set and ready to go again on offense here. In second quarter, they're down big already. He's struggling as well. They've got to find something here. He's got to find something on this drive. And sometimes you take out all that extra pressure on yourself and maybe you have to disperse it a little bit. Lean on some other people, lean on your teammates, find someone who can take the pressure off and get the ball in their hands for a while. Or this, if he doesn't, this is getting out of hand or it could get worse. Now the fifth year running back, it's Jalen Richard. And he's gonna be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. with a second and three. They go back to the ground, this time Jacobs. Four yards the pick up, first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football. In that situation, that's almost a tendency breaker. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Running is Jacobs. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for a Las Vegas first down. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. down Richard and down he goes at the 49 a three-yard pickup yeah I don't know if it's exactly a win-win but if you're on offense you'll take that kind of a run all right it was kind of stacked up found a little bit of yardage and frankly they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense the playbook is still open for the coordinator from just shy of midfield and he's got the hook up to Ruggs. That one, a first down pickup of eight. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Shotgun now for Cole. Incomplete. Henry Ruggs, the rookie, his intended target. That'll bring up second down. I would say it'd probably be a good idea for him to reintroduce himself to his receivers at the half because they're definitely on different wavelengths. But I also don't advocate waiting that long. Next series, before you get out there. Hey, let's get together, guys. Let's get this thing moving. Carl try it again on second down. Blitz coming and down he goes. The tackle made back Oh, in free safety yard. blitz. That can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he'd better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. So now Carr and the Raiders dealt a third and long after that sack. From the gun, it's Carr. Oh, pressure too great, and he goes down once more. David Onyemata, he's the one to get him this time, and back-to-back -back sacks brings up fourth down. Well, they went with the nickel. They throw in an extra defensive back. Coverage was very good. Yeah, it was exactly as you would expect. A passing down, you bring in the nickel package. Just as you described, the coverage was excellent and allowed one of their linemen to end up getting to the quarterback.
Here's A.J. Cole now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. It'll be a net of 39, 41-yard punt, two on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. The offense and Alvin Kamara heading back onto the field. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. And he doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara. They'll get him to the ground at the 20 following a pickup of four. Kamara, the ball carrier. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action, hit them over the top. The ball resting on the 20. Here's second and six. Now Breeze. And the catch made. This is Emmanuel Sanders. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Good catch there by Emmanuel Sanders. And he's exactly who you want in your locker room and who you want on your team. He can integrate into an offense quickly. He joined the San Francisco 49ers at midseason last year and had a huge impact in their run to a Super Bowl. He's a veteran receiver that everyone respects. And yes, he can still play. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Throwing again on second down. Breeze. That's complete to his running back, Kamara. Breeze. It'll be a pickup of just two. And just like that, it's third down. Two yard well, offensively, down that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs. And they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Open man is Michael Thomas. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Breeze on the hook up to Thomas for the New Orleans first. <laughs> Come on, one thing for sure. You know that Michael Thomas is going to be the target on a third down pass, and Drew Breeze finds him and keeps this drive moving. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. Breeze leaves this one with Kamara. The ball is out. Kamara fumbled it. And the Raiders pick it up. And they are going to set up shot at the 40-yard line. But he has been a workhorse for them in this game. And ball security hasn't been an issue until that point. Yeah, and let's face it. When he's going to carry the ball that many times, he becomes more and more of a target for the defense, knowing that he's going to be the primary guy. They'll just send more and more players towards him, trying to make sure they knock the ball free. So we've got a challenge. Our referee's going to take another look on the tablet. He's going to be watching to see if the knee was down prior to the ball coming out. Oh, I love what you just said there. You nailed it because if the ball's shifting or moving before the knee or any other part of the body hits the ground, then that will be considered a fumble.
Now after the fumble recovery, it's Breeze. The Sanders has got it complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 23 yards, the final tally. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. A man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Kamara again. And he'll take this down for about four yards down to the 15. The ball carrier. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, a guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Second and six. Shotgun now for Breeze. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Breeze. New Orleans. It's Breeze getting it into the hands of Traquan Smith as his guys continue to pour it on. I know a lot of people look at these games and think, all right, this thing's done. Let's have some sportsmanship. Let's not try and score. You should never do that in the NFL. I've seen big leads blown, and teams that look like they had a victory, all of a sudden we're going home with a loss. Lutz will look to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Scoring summary. Three-play drive. And it all culminates in a Saints touchdown. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Here comes Richard on the return. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Richard on the return. The Raiders take over first and 10. At their Derek own. Carr getting ready to go again on offense. He's got to dig deep here, doesn't he? Team's losing. He's not playing well either. And they always tell you, don't press. You'll make things a little bit worse. But in this particular situation, you try and heighten your play a little bit. So far, he's thrown one interception. He wants to balance that off with at least one touchdown pass in order to get his team back moving forward. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 27. He'll set up the throw from the gun. He'll find his tight end. That's Waller. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Three yards the gain there, second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Carr gives to Richard, and nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. No gain on. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense: linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Deontay Harris on the return. 
The Saints take over. Now we'll see what Michael Thomas and the rest of the offense has in store here. Making his presence felt early in this one. First half, already over the century mark. How about the yards per completion, too? That's a pretty darn good number there. Number of catches, but he's shredding defense. Is getting big yardage with each and every one of them. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. But it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. And this one complete to Smith. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion they would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Now Breeze on third down. And it also brings up fourth. Well, maybe that can give him a little bit of a pick-me-up, a little bit of a jolt. One of the few things has gone right defensively. Because other than that, it's really been a first half to forget. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. Possession goes over here on the punt. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul searching now? I would say so. And they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot position. more than normal. Put them in some tough spots. But what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. The Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. He'll drop to throw. Reception here by Ruggs. And give him six yards here as he's stopped near the 35 at the 34. It's a pickup of six. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. This to Jacobs on the toss right. Just a yard in the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Got his connection, complete to Ruggs. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First down, Vegas as Carr finds Ruggs that time. It's been a very one-sided game so far. They gotta change what they're doing right now, don't they? You can't wait till the halftime speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't, because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series, and they need a big adjustment here to try and put some points on the board. First down. He'll let this go deep for runs. That's caught inside the 20. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Henry runs 53 yards. 
as they are now on the board here in the first half. I'm not sure that they have illusions right now of, okay, we're going to score eight times in a row and we're going to be terrific. But to get one, that was huge for them. That has to feel much better right now. And you do have, we're still in the first half. You do have the entire second half. There's something about that goose egg that just looked bad on that board, but now they've broken it. Yeah, broken through. Can they maintain the pace? We'll see as we go along. Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. And he converts, and it cuts the lead to 35-7. to seven. So that drive, four plays. And it ends with a Las Vegas touchdown. Raiders 7. speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away on the return Deontay Harris and they'll start this drive just across the 30 pretty nice work on the return the Saints take over first and 10 at their own getting set to go again here the Saints and Drew Brees march out there again on offense he's thrown for a touchdown he also ran for a touchdown so they have to count for a guy that can do a little bit of both. And because of that, that puts a defense back on its heels because normally you just think, okay, he's going to throw the ball. Let's tee off, put a little extra pressure on him. But when he's able to either escape or run with the ball and design plays, that really changes what you try and do on defense. Yeah, you certainly can't forget about the arm, that's for sure. On first and 10, here's Breeze. He's got Smith here. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three at the 37-yard line. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half of action. Well, man, open down the middle of the field. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. They were in zone defensively, went with a crossing route. It's always interesting to watch that chess match. Yeah, and I think safeties don't mind crossing routes against zone because eventually you're going to run into their territory, and that's when they lick their chops in order to get the big hit or a play on the ball. Offensively, nice execution to find a hole, make the catch. It's caught, Smith, and taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 10 yards, good for his Saints first down. New Orleans. When we watch Drew Brees practice, the thing that always strikes us is after every throw he makes, he continues to go through his progressions. You know, so he gets that muscle memory. Okay, in a game, if I don't have this throw I just made, I might have this one, I might have that one. It's amazing. One of the reasons he's come out so hot today, he's already seen it happen. Again, they'll throw with Breeze. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. Maurice Hurst gets him for a loss of eight. What great push up front. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz. And even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, now that allows your blitzers to get there. Well behind the sticks here with a second and 18. Breeze on the draw, gives to Camara. 
And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one, maybe not the hard-fought battle many had hoped for. This has been blowout city thus far, but still more football to be played. Who knows what could happen? as we send you right back out to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Set now to go for the third quarter. The Saints have the lead and set to receive the kick. Here's Harris to return it. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Deontay Harris on the return. The Saints take over first and 10. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 27. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. 41, Alvin Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. From the 30 on second down, Breeze. And this is Cook with a grab. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. When the offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, Tight ends know that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Now a handoff. Here's Kamara. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Again, it's Kamara. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like yeah, he'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. From midfield, here's Breeze. And that's complete to Sanders. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. 
And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. It's a gain of two. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. They'll go for it. It's Breeze. Got him in. He finds Sanders. That's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now, Breeze again. And a scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. Marcus Joyner there I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Again, it's Breeze. And brought in by the tight end, Cook. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Boy, the evolution of the game and how these guys in plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive, it just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does, and we're talking about an era in the game where the quarterbacks are the most athletically gifted that we've seen in a bunch. I mean, when you talk about collectively, it's unbelievable. So their ability to move is practiced now. It's not necessarily, oh, he just took off and you guys figure it out. When he takes off, everyone knows where to go now. They know how to run routes, change things, make themselves presentable for the quarterback. It's a lot of time that they put in on it. It's not just your static one, two, three. This is where the ball goes anymore. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Into the red zone, it's Breeze. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, we always talk about you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he was staying in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. Second and 10. Breeze to throw again. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. The rookie, Damon Arnett, picks it. And a terrific return as he brings this one all the way back to the 30. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now after the INT, it's Carr. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. Sheldon Rankins coming right up the gut. Gets in there for a loss of nine. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. 
Back quite a ways here, facing second and 19. Carr. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Intended for Henry Everything looked right on that play except the conclusion. He dropped it. An in route going into a little bit of traffic. Maybe in the back of his mind, he was wondering where the hit was going to come from. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Working from the gun, it's Carr. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. And he'll be brought down at the 28, and that is well short of the first. It's a gain of 11, but they're still well short. It's fourth down. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Fourth down, and on comes the Raider kicker, Daniel Carlson. And this will be a 45-yard attempt. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And that drops a deficit from 28 to 25. Raiders 10. I'm kind of surprised by that, that they kicked the field goal. I guess you get some points, but this deficit third quarter, I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. When you're down that much, kicking a field goal, does it feel a little bit maybe waving the white waving flag? The white. I you just, just want to get out of here? Yeah, I, I think you got to go ahead and try and get some bigger points on the board. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Here's Harris to return it. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Saints take over first and 10 at their own 28. Drew Brees getting ready to go again on offense. Yeah, he's been great. Looked down at the stat monitor here a moment ago. He's already over 300 yards in the third quarter. And you get the sense there are plenty more yards to come. He's been sharp right from the beginning, finding the open targets, knows exactly where he wants to go with the football, and is delivering it really well. And now he is in search of more yardage on this drive. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. He'll set up to throw. This is complete to Michael Thomas. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. 19 yards. All the yards, completions, just another play that's a feather in the cap of the great career of Drew Brees. And wasn't he supposed to be too small to be an effective quarterback in yeah. the NFL? Yeah, how'd that work out? Yeah, well, his footwork, I think, really sets him apart. Remember, he was a junior tennis champion. Beat Andy Roddick, the future U.S. Open champion, back when they were in the juniors. I think that footwork really helps him be the great quarterback he is now. A big hitter to start the drive. Has him up near midfield here for first and 10. A give. This is Kamara. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. From the gun, it's Breeze. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. It's a gain of six. They certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Breeze now on first down. That'll be complete to Cook. Give him nine there on the first down completion. There's a completion to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands. Speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? 
That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. You know, pass complete here to Sanders. Breeze. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. It's Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And certainly a valuable tool to have in your kit, Emmanuel Sanders, and he's shown us quite a bit in this one. And that's why they wanted to use him immediately. You know they come out of the locker room saying, let's get the ball to him, get our offense jump started, and in this case, it's worked throughout the game. Thus, they have the lead. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara down right around the 25. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. You know, it's not just all athleticism from defensive linemen. Let's give them a little credit for their football intelligence as well. Read and react by them, understood the play call, and stacked it up and stopped the run. On second and nine, Breeze. The Sanders has got it complete. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. And he finds Cook. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Try to pound it in, Kamara. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the six. So that run gets him about halfway home. Yes, now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try and put it in that way. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. They keep it on the ground, but this time it's Murray. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. touchdown. Latavius Murray, his second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Lutz to try to add the PAT. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. A 10-play drive that time. And it culminates with a Latavius Murray touchdown run. Will Lutz. After the touchdown, to Lutz to kick it off. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his, and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions, then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there at halftime, actually. <laughs> I mean, you think you might have turned it on us, too? Yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. Throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Darren Waller, the interior.
intended receiver, but it'll be second down. Another attempt, another incompletion, and when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long gain or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points, and the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. Now this window is running back out of the backfield. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. That's a gain of eight. Brings up third and two. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. A pickup of five yards. First down, Las Vegas. First On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They run it with Jacobs. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. That one will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Now Carr. And he's got the hook up to Ruggs. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. To Henry Ruggs. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five at the 46-yard line. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Now a handoff to Richard. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Heavy set out there on third and one. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Two yards and able to get the first down in the process. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up and run the dark ball, pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short, that's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school smash mouth football. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Delayed give there out of the gun. Defense was ready. And I'm not a big fan of a draw play out of the shotgun formation because the quarterback's not having much action where he's getting away from the line of scrimmage. He's catching the football, making a little head fake, and then handing it off. You should be able to read it as they did there. Now they'll throw with Carr. And this is caught by Witten, the tight end. The reception good for seven. It's third down. But my eyes are still adjusting to the sight of Jason Witten in a Las Vegas Raiders uniform, but times change in the NFL, and guys would like to play, they find ways to continue their careers. Remember, Jason Witten came out of retirement to broadcast booth to rejoin Dallas in 2019, and at the age of 37, had 63 catches. Now here with the Raiders, they're looking for him to be a leader and contribute with big-time catches downfield. 
field. Football League on EA Sports. tribulations of being a quarterback in this league it's tough it's got to be wearing on him out there well he has been sacked a number of times he had an interception so i'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game from the 21 it's second and 10 throwing again Carr. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Credit that sack to Marcus Davenport. But nothing takes a start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. And the Raiders following the sack, looking up at a third and long. Shotgun now for Carr. The open man here, Renfro. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. Keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They go with Jacobs. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. So give him the first down. First and goal after a pickup of four. And the decision to go for it pays off. Receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. From the gun, Carr. And it's caught. And he'll take it into the end zone for a later touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown grab make some inroads here on that deficit. I don't want to go over the top here, but that's still a nice touchdown. I know they're being blown out of the stadium, but for this team to go downfield and score when this game is essentially over, that shows me a lot.
playoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Here's Harris to return it. Now a hit. from him and he saw the opposing team recover it you felt his pain oh, i felt his pain and you know what was going through his head tuck it away mm. take care of the ball all the things he hears all week in practice he didn't carry it over into the game Second and seven from the 20. Operating from the gun. Car. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Uh, defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big talk both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. And the throw there going to be incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. to no avail and the Saints will have the football back well, that's another mistake there on the drop pass on fourth and we've seen him do things like this all game it's not hard to figure out why they're down by that deficit they haven't made plays that are going to keep them in the game or win the game all game long that's another example right there it all boils down at the end of it to execution either you make the play or you don't So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They begin on the ground with Kamara. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. The ball carrier. I know you're trying to wring every yard out of a run, but I think nine yards there is ideal in this situation. Yeah, now next couple plays, you only need one yard. Keep that clock rolling with a lead here in the fourth. Yeah, what you're saying is maybe if it takes you one or two more runs to get the first down, that's extra time, extra plays. Really hurts the team on defense. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. From the gun, it's a run for Kamara. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Well, they'll take that every time with a lead, first down, fourth quarter, getting eight yards. You love that. They will take it, and you have to ask the defensive guys, why did you give it? I mean, you know the situation. You're down, have to stop them, have to get the football back. But eight yards on first down puts them back on their heels. 
On second down, Kamara. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Four yards the pick up, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. On the ground, this is Kamara. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Jonathan Hankins in on the stop. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Breeze leaves this one with Camaro. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And finally down at the 36-yard line. 15 yards on the play, first down. Brett, and every great running backs coach I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about running them into submission, uh, hasn't he? You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. Ready. So Ready. after the run by Kamara, now another first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. It was Maurice Hurst who got him down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure you're back. You spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the 29, maybe the 28-yard line. He'll wind up getting three on the keeper there, but it leads to a third down. And if you like defensive football, focus on the defensive end on this play. He does everything exactly right. Reads the play and makes sure he spills it for a small gain. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave him with some options here on fourth and inches. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know, that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it. Mm -hmm. How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage enough to pick up that first down. Impressive. They were ready defensively for that jumbo set. On fourth down, off goes Drew Brees, and on comes the Saints kicker, Will Lutz, for the field goal attempt. From the left hash mark, this a 43-yard attempt. And Lutz's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Saints 45, Raiders 17. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. 10-play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal for the offense. 10-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. Will following the made field goal, Lutz to kick it away. Here comes Richard on the return. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Raiders take over first and 10 at their own 30. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. And a drive that stalled out last time. Went for it on fourth, didn't get it. How does that translate here? I would imagine momentum's with the defense. Definitely with the defense, because anytime anyone goes for it on fourth down, that's telling you as a defense that they, you can't stop us. We don't think that you can. And when you actually do, that may put a little dent in the confidence of the offense the next time they hit the field. Yeah, we'll see if they can bring that pride the offense this go around. Car now on first down. That's into the hands of Edwards. And they get him down, but not before he 
takes it across the 40-yard line. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They can go ahead and mark it in the win column, but as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. First down, Carr. That's caught by Water out left side. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for a Las Vegas first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. He'll let this go deep for Ruggs. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. To throw again, Carr. And he's going to be swallowed up, sacked back at the 45-yard line. That right now, that's a defeated team out there. I think you can see it totally in their body language. Hands on hips, heads low. Uh, it's just been a struggle from the start. Yeah, this team has been thoroughly beaten right from the word go. So after the sack, Carr in Las Vegas with a third and long. From the gun, Carr. Reception here by Ruggs. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line. Well short of the first. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. Car to throw for it on fourth down. Saints will have the football back. Uh, he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, you know, you and I have both been to practices where we've seen, hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here, first and 10 at the 45. He'll start with a give to Kamara, pushing forward for three up to the 48. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. They run it again with Kamara. And he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. Corey Littleton on the tackle. A two-yard gain on the play. And it's third down. The Saints on third down. They've been really good converting seven of their ten tries. This will be third and five. From midfield, here's Breeze. The open man is Smith. 
And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 12 yards there, good for a Saints first down. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down, went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Second down at five. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. And it's third down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. He was brought down. They have the first down with that gain of four yards. I've got an idea. Let's skip racing to the airport at the end of this game. Let's go to the post-game press conference. I have a feeling that the quarterback of this winning team He's going to be giving a whole lot of credit to the running game and the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say the offensive line, yes, carrying the ball has been key, but those guys up front, they've made a lot of space. Ready. Not totally home six. free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Number Two three, yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. They'll run. This is Kamara. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Today, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone.
for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew, I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long from Las Vegas.